Hello everyone, Shane Brick Customs here with a late Christmas video for you guys. Um, part 3 of the custom casting should be up by now, uh, which is removal of the mould, and I'll get started on the next method uh, within a couple of days. First thing I just want to say, um, I've been working on new customs, and uh, I'll be showing you a sneak peek of one in this video. But before I do that, um, I just want to say that... I apologise for the uh, lack of videos lately, that will change, and also uh, check out my blog guys, just down below, I'll put a link in the description to that, check that out, um, it's got a good few tips and tricks on customising, and also some new pictures I'll be uploading of my new customs, and a few old ones as well. Um, so what these next few videos will be about is the custom that I've been working on. And it's a custom character that I'm doing three versions of custom of. And what I want you guys to do is to pick which one you like the best. So leave a comment down um, in the description for your favourite one. Uh, which I'll be showing in three separate videos of course. So just hold fire on that for now. And uh, whatever one you guys like the most I'll be putting into production. Uh, unfortunately I cannot sell um, on the international market yet. Uh, just due to logistical and time constraints. So... Unfortunately, these are only for the New Zealand market at this stage. However, that could change if uh, demand goes up. So again, leave a uh, comment below, guys. And if you want me to start selling these internationally, um, then I'll see what I can do. And uh, we'll take it from there. Anyway, this character that I have um, customised this time is a, or was a character featured in the original Clone Wars series back in 2003, uh, a couple of years before the release of Revenge of the Sith. Um, very cool character, also featured in the uh, Expanded Universe quite heavily. Uh, his name is Dirge. Um, he's a bounty hunter. Search it up, guys, on Google if you want some more information on him. Quite a bit. Uh, featured heavily in the Clone Wars. And I've done three versions of a custom on him. Now, it's just a headpiece, of course, because I'm just a, uh, a sculptor. Uh, customizer. I haven't found bodies for these uh, customs yet. So... I do apologise for the body that I'll be using. I think I'll just have to use a Mandalorian body uh, to show what the headpieces look like on a, you know, a Lego body. Because I haven't been able to source the right colours or the right sort of equipment for a custom. Anyway, the first version is more of an, ex you know, a uh, cartoony version, you could say. So featured more sort of heavily. Uh, in the cartoon series, gone off that sort of design. So here, here's the headpiece. I hope you guys can see that. Um, I know this camera isn't the best. That's why I'll be going for the old Boxing Day sale to get a new camera. But there it is. You, know, you may think it looks really weird with the long neck, but. In actual fact, the character featured in the Clone Wars and has a very long neck, so that will be the reason why. Now, I want to get some very big shoulder pads for him as well, because as you can see, he needs them. <laughs> but that's how it would fit onto a Lego body. Very high level of detail, it's all um, hand painted and then uh, sealed. So that's the first dirge, guys. Um, hope you like it. This is a more cartoony version of the two that I'll be doing. Sorry, the three I'll be doing. Um, so yeah, that's it for now, guys. Um, have a good one. Bye.